If you're a workout enthusiast, there are three pairs of headphones that are probably at the top of your list. Apple's brand new Power Beats Pro. They're made by Beats, but Apple owns Beats. Samsung's Galaxy Buds, and the Jabra Elite Active 65T. Here are some of the similarities and differences between these headphones and why you might wanna buy each pair. All right, so let's talk about cases. Two of these are not like the other. The Jabra Elite Active 65T and Samsung Galaxy Buds both come with this clamshell design case. The Samsung case has wireless charging built in, but you only get about seven hours of juice in the case, whereas the Elite Active 65T have two full charges in the case for a total of 15 hours when you include the five hours of headphone battery life. And then, there's the Powerbeats Pro, which have what could only be described as comically large charging case. And part of that is to fit the headphones in the case itself. And the other part is that including the nine hours per charge you get from these headphones, the case combines to give you more than 24 hours of battery life. So that's awesome, but you're not gonna be able to fit this thing in your pants pocket. You're gonna wanna keep it in your gym bag. If you can fit it in your pants pocket, congratulations on going to the gym. But as you lose those pounds, you're not gonna be able to fit this in your jeans. Then there's the design of the headphones themselves. The Jabra and Samsung models both are these sort of traditional in-ear styles with silicone ear tips. The Jabra headphones don't come with ear fins to keep them in your ears during workouts, but they have this whole ear fitting design, so they're definitely not gonna come out of your ears. And the same can be said for the Galaxy Buds. They do come with ear fins, we don't have them on now, because they're so light and compact in your ears that they actually just don't come out on their own. Maybe those of you who sweat a lot and are really, really worried about them coming out should add those ear fins. But you know, in the majority of listening situations, we found that they stay in your ears just fine. And then once again, we get to the Powerbeats Pro, which have a significantly larger footprint in your ear. They have these hooks to make sure that they stay really secure over your ears. Though they're a bit larger than their competitors, they are very, very secure during workouts. So if you're someone that's really worried about losing an earbud, these are maybe the way to go. So controls, it's a really important thing when you're working out that you don't have to pull out your phone and mess with it to adjust volume or change songs, and all three of these headphones have great options there. The Jabra go with physical buttons. There's a button to access your voice assistant and then volume up and down buttons. The Samsungs are a little bit more customizable and a little bit more modern. They have touch controls on the outside of each earphone and you can customize them to make the touch controls do whatever you want, as well as to access your voice assistant so you can ask for whatever you want while you're on a jog or doing your workout. The Powerbeats Pro have the best of all worlds, which is to say that each headphone features a volume rocker, something we absolutely love. They have a multifunction play pause button on the outside of each earphone, and you can also just say, hey Siri, if you're connected to an iPhone, and Apple's H1 chip will immediately pull up that voice assistant, no button required. I already touched on battery life a little bit, but the ranking goes something like this. One, two, three. These have nine hours of battery life, and that's really made possible by the fact that they're so large. The Galaxy Buds boast six hours, which is still quite good, especially for headphones this compact. And the Elite Active 65T have five hours, which is still reasonable and definitely longer than the majority of workouts you'll be doing. Sweat proofing. It's very important in workout headphones. All three of these headphones have it. They all have some sort of IP rating. The best of the bunch is the Jabra Elite Active 65T, which have an IP56 rating for water and dust ingress. You can actually even wash these in the sink. Don't use soap. The Galaxy Buds have an IPX2 rating, which is enough for you to sort of wipe them off after a workout and you won't have to worry about sweat, but definitely you don't want to submerge them in water. And the Beats Power Beats Pro have an IPX4 rating, which means you can rinse them off and wipe them down and they should be fine after a workout. Sound quality from all three is excellent. They all have great silicone ear tips, so we get this great bass response. Probably the best of the bunch are the Powerbeats Pro, which have actually a surprising amount of highs for a Beats product. You know, they're typically known for their bass. The Galaxy Buds and Elite Active 65T are both a little bit airy up top, maybe a little bit less robust in the low end than the Beats, but they're still great to listen to, and you'll be able to jam out to your favorite tunes while you break a sweat.
All right, so what are you gonna spend for a pair of these headphones? Well, the most you'll spend is 250 bucks. That's what the Beats Power Beats Pro cost. And you know, that's a little bit on the high end for true wireless headphones, but these do have a lot of features and great battery life to back it up. The cheapest you'll spend is 129 bucks. That's what the Galaxy Buds go for. You're sacrificing a little bit of extra sweat proofing and maybe a little bit of fidelity, but they absolutely work and they're a great pair of headphones to work out in. And the middle of the road are the Jabra Elidac 65 T, which retail for 190 bucks, although we frequently see them on sale for the 160 to 180 dollar region. So which ones would I buy? Well, unfortunately, during our testing period, we had some connection woes with the Beats Power Beats Pro. So for now, I'm gonna have to discount them until we encounter a pair that doesn't have those problems. So if I'm choosing between the Jabra Elite Active 65T and the Samsung Galaxy Buds, it all depends on how hard I think I'm gonna be on my headphones. If I am gonna be sweating and running marathons and doing crazy stuff all the time in my headphones, I probably want the headphones that have the dust and water rating that's a little bit higher, the IP56 that comes with the Elite Active 65T. That said, if I'm just gonna be working out, you know, in a home gym or for, you know, a few minutes, a few times a week, the Galaxy Buds will be absolutely fine. And at $129, it's a great way to get a pair of workout buds and a pair of just great everyday listening earbuds for a relatively low price in this space. 